outside. I will not fail someone else's child. Absolutely not. Right now at 6, it's been 17 days since Amber Evans was last seen. Friends and family of the local activist have questioned if Columbus police are doing enough to find her. Well, today, Jeff Reddick took those questions to the commander of the search. Amber Evans went missing here by the Scioto River, so naturally the river would be the first place to look. And police say they did for about a day, but they cannot search here more until the fast moving high river calms down. It's a safety issue. Columbus Police Commander Alex Bennon is leading the unit searching for Amber Evans, her last known location near the Scioto River, which is not safe to dive in right now. The flow rate's fast, it's real high. Side scan sonar works so much better when the water's flowing smooth. The commander says dive teams assess the river every day, but for Amber's mother, Tanya, now missing her 28-year-old daughter more than two weeks, it is all happening far too slowly. I just want them to do that with care like they would anybody else. Her concerns shared by the community. Columbus police have heard from local activists who work alongside Amber and worry her protests against police now bias their work to find her. She was an activist. She was an organizer. She made a few people mad in the city. That is of no concern to my investigators. But 17 days is a long time to be gone. Police are still not presuming Amber dead. Her mother prays they never will. If it is that it is final, then where's the body? Where's the evidence? As soon as you make the assumption that somebody's daughter is deceased, then you've given up hope. We don't do that. The number to call remains the same if you have any idea what happened to Amber Evans down here by the Scioto River. That number on our website, abc6onyourside.com. At the Main Street Bridge, Jeff Reddick, ABC6 News. Jeff.